Hi, today we're going to talk about the gift of faith. Faith unlocks the kingdom of God on earth. Everybody has been given a measure of faith according to Scripture. Do you know that you have faith, and in that faith you can do amazing and enormous things with God? Well, you do. We're going to take a look at some examples in Scripture of how faith has released amazing exploits on earth. And we're coming into a time now where things are going to shake even on the earth. And we're going to need to rely on our faith in God to get through some of the circumstances coming. Do you remember the time when Moses had delivered the children of Israel out of, out of Egypt only to find himself at the Red Sea? And what was happening? Pharaoh changed his mind again. And there was a big old army coming after him. And he had two choices. One was to just freak out and just yield himself to slaughter or whatever, or turn to God and say, Lord, now what? You've taken us this far. I believe you've got a further place to take us. So he did that, and the Lord said, you've done right. Now take your staff and put it over the Red Sea, and the waters began to part. A miracle happened that had never been seen before. So by faith, Moses struck forth his hand, such forth his staff, and saw an entire sea part. And his men went through, and when Egypt went to go through it themselves, they got completely wiped out. So um, that's a one miracle worked by faith. But let's go to Hebrews 11. It's called it the, he the faith chapter. And we're going to read uh, a few verses through here. So starting with verse 1 and 2. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good testimony. So faith in the Christian life is a realm we need to be okay with living in both the tangible and the intangible, the visible and the invisible. That, although it sounds like a conundrum or a conflict or a tension, needs to become normal. That's okay, because you're no longer living by facts and logic alone. You're living by the power and the means of the Spirit. And it says in verse 3 that even the Lord created the earth out of nothing. It said, he, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God, so that the things which are seen, again, the visible things, were not made of things which are visible. So that's just an interesting fact in a Christian's uh, matrix of life. Things can be made out of nothing. But usually that's done by faith. So let's go to uh, leave Hebrews 11, 32-34 and read about, about some men and women of God who obtained promises through their faith, their belief in God, their trust in God to work a miracle in their life. Verse 32, And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, were made strong out of weakness, became valiant in battle, turned the flight the armies of the aliens, or entire armies were turned to flight, just like Moses did. Women received their dead raised to life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. So there's a good wide swath of what faith has accomplished throughout history through men and women of God who believed. Now faith, again, is a measure given to you. And your circumstance is going to be unique in what your life means. And what are the promises that God has for you? Are there obstacles in your way? That's one way to discern where I need faith. So faith for you might mean I'm going to um, believe God to do something I don't even know how or what He'll do, but to work mightily on my behalf to get me from point A to point B that He's determined me to go to. So in that position, faith might just simply be trusting and waiting on God and not running away, not abandoning the fight of faith. For others, it might be I need to win a battle in my life, and it seems impossible, but you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get valiant in battle, believing God's got my back, even though I think I might get slaughtered in this. But if God's told me to do it, I can do it. And faith agrees with God. Faith is treating those impossibilities, those realms that could happen as fact, because God's in it. So if God said it, it can happen. So thank you. I pray God blesses you, and your faith goes from faith to faith and glory to glory.